Welcome in baseball fans and here in New York we've got the American League Championship Series on the show. It's the Minnesota Twins taking on the New York Yankees. John Chomby alongside Chris Singleton. A big game two in store for us here today, Chris. And the series started out like you might expect. The home side taking care of business in game one. But this game today is going to reveal a lot about what this series will become. Will it be a battle for six or seven games? Or will it be a walkover? Those are the questions that we start getting more clarity on after game two. I have a feeling it's going to be a good one, Chris. This should be fun. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set now. Our starting pitcher in this one, Garrett Cole. Last time out, he was the tough luck loser. He went the distance, but just wasn't able to get the run support to get the win. Got to shake that off, come out in this one, and be ready to put up more zeros. Here's the left fielder, Austin Slater. Swings and misses. It's over on. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get yep. rung up He's by out. the umpire. He handles it himself. Quick start here this evening. Two out. Top of the first. Royce Lewis stands in now and watches strike one. Two out space is empty. <laughs> Bottom of the first. Now the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. The pitch. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Verdugo measures six feet even, hitting leadoff in today's game, and he took home a gold glove in 2024. No ball. He's great. The pitch. Ball. And ball one. One ball. He's great. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one out now. Man, there was no deviating from the fastball back right there. He just kept coming after him with it. Here it is. Hit it if you can. And he just no, couldn't no, find no. a way to put it in play. Here's Juan Soto. Yeah, and that skips into there. Starts him off with the breaking ball, which isn't surprising. They're trying to keep him off balance, but he's been known to connect on the breaking stuff, too. Now a screamer into the outfield. Buxton pulls it in on the run. Here comes Aaron Judge. Judge rips that one. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. And we're back. Second inning set to go. Now it's the second baseman, Edouard Julien. That clips the zone. That's strike one. Singy, here's a fun nugget. Through the 2022 Oops. season, only eight players ever had at least three career postseason hits where all of those hits were for extra bases. And you're one of them. And he'll two. Cuts out it and misses. That's a strikeout. Pull the string of the changeup. Now there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass. It's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it. From your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't lose base. Verdugo calls it in, and there's two away. 
Ryan Jeffers in the box with two gone. And it takes a look at a called strike. A little out front there as he swings through. Oh, no, not to brag, Boo, but my postseason extra base hits were pretty special, too. Two doubles off of Pedro Martinez in 2003 and an RBI triple off Freddy Garcia in 2000. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1 2 3. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the second baseman, Glaber Torres. Ground ball up the middle, Correa. Slings the first, and Glaber Torres retired. Here's Stanton now. Ripped to third and caught. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Jose Trevino, the batter down as he swings and misses for strike one. And there's a ball. I wouldn't get too puffed up about that postseason extra base hit thing, Singy. The all-time leader with four is Ken Holtzman, a pitcher, and one of his hits was a homer. Yeah, Boog, I'm sure he was a position player, though, before he started pitching. Two down, nobody on. That one fouled off, two and two. No score here in the second. And that one in the air, center field. Buxton moves under it. And that ends the inning. We'll move to the third with no score. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. Now batting Max Kepler. And yeah, there's the strike. That misses. And the count even one and one. One strike. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Drill to right. Way back there. And that is gone. That was blasted to the moon. And that gives him a lead. It's 1-0. Boog, his plan was to hit the ball hard, and he was going to figure out the rest later. You can't argue with those results. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. And next is the designated hitter, Matt Walmer. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. That was exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Got him looking for the game. Well, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but it certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes... As a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. One run across in the frame so far here in game two of the American League Championship Series. In the air, left field. That takes care of Buxton, and there's two down. So the batting order turns over. Austin Slater, the next twin up to hit. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay closed. Two outs. That breaking ball is in for a strike, and quickly it is nothing in two. Bows it back with two strikes. Two down, base is empty, but one run across here in game two. Fastball to letters, frozen for strike three. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now 1-0. This is the American League Championship Series on the show.
Back at Yankee Stadium, bottom of the inning, and stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Rizzo. Late on that fastball. No ball. You know, One these three. Yankees, as you probably noticed, haven't been shy at the plate at all. In fact, they've probably been too aggressive at times. I'm specifically oh. talking about the first pitch. These guys are swinging more than 80% of the time, which is fine if you're scoring runs, but that hasn't been the case today. Oh. And that one oh. missing low. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. two. On the ground to third, and it's through for a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. I love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Now the batter now, Oswaldo oh. Cabrera. Ball one there. Rizzo aboard here at first with nobody out. In the air, left side. Slater gets under it. And out number one on the grab. Oh, he throws it away. And now the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. fly ball out of the left center field. Slater brings it in with a nice running grab. Here's Alex Verdugo. He's 0 for 1. Swings through that. Filthy change up right there. Just pulled the string. That's a base hit. And the postseason success continues for him. Walt Soto stepping in now for the Yankees. He's over one. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap, and you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that, and probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel, and he got great extension on the follow-through to drive it out of here. Judge batting for the second no time, one and that's strike one. Here comes a pitch. No ball. Two gone, base is empty, but three runs across here in the last half of the third. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And that is that. But the biggest swing of the inning comes right here, a three-run homer. And this is now a three-one ball game. You're watching the American League Championship Series on the show. Back here in New York, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Alex Kirilov. That one's in there. That's strike one, Kirilov. 26 years old, a former first-round pick back in 2016. Sneaks through, base head. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Well, these twins, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at bats, and I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. Out towards right center field. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Edouard Julien, the next twin up to hit. 
Fastball gets the corner at the knees. The Yanks up by two. Top half of inning number four. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Verdugo tracks it down for the out. And here comes Carlos Correa. Right side, hard hit. Tosses the first. Third out. So no. Second game of the ALCS. Here is Glaber Torres. High fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. I love how he tracked the ball right there and was able to get through that fastball just a little bit late. Otherwise, it stays fair. I think if the top hand is a little stronger, same swing produces a home run. Lewis throws to first. And Glaber Torres retired. John Carlos Stanton at the plate. And first offering is fouled off. And here it comes. In the air, left field. Slater in pursuit. He makes the grab. And there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. And the batter now, Jose Trevino. Off the mark there. One and one. Ball. No strike. And that's in for a strike. One one down. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Back at Yankee Stadium, Brian Jeffers at the plate. That one's in there. Going wrong. Well, these twins, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. Dominating strikeout there on just three pitches, and that's what a good power pitcher can do to you. He's hitting his spots, filling up the strike zone. Sometimes he bats over before it really begins. Max Kepler at the plate. One out, base is empty. Base is empty. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, they get the strikeout there, and what kind of stood out to me was that they weren't shying away from contact. Every single pitch was in the strike zone, and that tells me they wanted to attack him, and it paid off. Two down, nobody on. Oh. You want to be patient here. Try to work a walk if you can. You've got a big power bat behind you in the on-deck circle. And with two outs, one swing, put you right back in this ballgame. And down on strikes. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. Twins retired in short. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here's the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That's back. Blasted. Absolutely no doubt off the bat. Let's break out the stat cast numbers. It's singing. It tells us this home run was projected at more than 450 feet. Yeah, and not many players can hit home runs as far as this one. That's a special feeling, and I'm sure he was giggling a little bit as he was jogging around the bases. That was one heck of a swing he put on the baseball. Cabrera stands in here, takes ball one low. So he's got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. The wind to kick the 2 0. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. 
Yankees up by three. Last half of inning number five. Ground ball to the right oh, side. Oh. And that's just foul. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Buxton sizes this one up. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Stepping in, the sluggy shortstop, Anthony Volpe. Swing and a miss. Slider Come right on. there. No, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He flexes his power with that swing. It's their second home run of the inning, and they add to the lead. It's 5-1. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Well, I'm sure there's a big win on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like it was going to bend foul. Was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets the jog around the bases. Good for him. Bounced up the middle. Sneaks through, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Rocco Baldelli. On the mound now for the Twins, Josh Winder. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that started left for him. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. Struck out on just three pitches last time. On the ground right side, four, six, three, it's a double play. And that'll do it for the inning. But two round trippers in this inning, the long ball was working. It's now 5-1. Back in the Bronx, now at the plate, Byron Buxton. Line drive to short and caught. That at bat is a positive sign, even though it probably doesn't feel like it. He hit the ball hard, but it doesn't always work out in your favor. Sometimes a defender is there to make a play. One down, base is empty. Swings and misses. And that is strike two. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left, so expect them to add on to that total. And you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. The Yankees leading by four. And we're in the top half of the series. And a nice inning of work there. Back in the Bronx, stepping in, Glaber Torres. Winder, back to work. That oh. one missed. You know, these Yankees doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. The numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every nope. inning, and oh. they've only struck out twice, no, no. so they keep finding ways to put their bat on the ball. Out there to center. Buxton moves under it. Puts it away for the out. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. On the ground, right side. And they take care of Stanton for the out. Here's Jose Trevino. First pitch swinging. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. Back up the middle and it gets through. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Smoke to right center and this one's gonna go out of here. Boost their lead. It's 
And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at-bat. You watch him from the on-deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. Oswaldo Cabrera stepping in now for the Yankees. That one fouled off. Next offer in there for a strike. And it's 0-2. And ball one. One ball. Two strikes. This is off the inside. Yeah, that's ball two. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Yeah, there's ball four. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So ball down the line or an end of the gap, will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. The pitch. Started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, did not go. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Cabrera off the of first with two away. Yeah, there's a ball. In the air out to center. Buxton under this one. And he makes the catch. And that'll do it. Two run blast for the Yankees this inning. It's 7 1. Back for more from the Bronx. Now the third baseman, Royce Lewis. And a foul ball. Hitting is all about anticipation, and right now, this lineup is struggling with it. Their swings are mistimed, and it's produced a few ugly cuts here and there. This one in the air center field. Judge is under it. Hauls it in for the out. So digging in, Edouard Julien. Ground ball right side. Whips it to yeah. first. Now two away. Two outs, base is empty. Now Correa up to hit. Right oh. through there for a strike. Pretty amazing, his first pitch strike percentage over 90%. You know you're getting something in the zone first pitch. So if you're a hitter, you've got to be ready to let it fly, even though he's had a lot of success on that first pitch of the at-bat. Gets a piece and stays alive. And the pitch. Out to short. Volpe in plenty of time to first that takes care here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx set for the last half of the seventh here's the Yankees leadoff hitter Alex Verdugo that's hard hit in the line no trouble here puts it away for the out and there's one down Juan Soto stepping in now for the Yankees he swings and fouls one off And yeah, the right hater deals. Scorch to center. No doubt about it. That is long gone. A massive home run. His second home run of the game, and they add a run. It's 8 1. That's their fifth homer of the game. Man, they're all getting into the action. It's starting to feel like a home run derby up here.
a pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the ball to the baseball. Coming out of the bullpen for the Twins, Jorge Alcala. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Late that time, and it's strike two. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Slider got him for a strike three. Labor Torres up to the plate. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ground ball to go. That's a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. And a base hit right there. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. And here's the catcher, Jose Trevino. One for three. In the air, out towards right center. Sizing this one up. He's got it. And that is out number three. The Yanks do get one on the solo homer. Still a lopsided affair at 8-1 now. Back in New York. We're at the top of the eighth. Here's the catcher, Ryan Jeffers. Right through there for a strike. Oh, one. Into center. And it falls. And the leadoff man aboard. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I could see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. One out. Now that, at first, and now the DH, Matt Walmer. That one ripped, but foul. Liner saved at first. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting the line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Swing and a miss. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Stephen Oker. As the lefty gets to work. Rizzo, the leadoff batter as he swings through it for strike one. He's been great in this one. Eye-hand coordination just failed him a little bit right there. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. And now the lefty. One ball, two strikes. swinging that left-handed batter facing a left-handed pitcher that's got some sink like that at the end it's just the bottom falls out of it when it looks like it's going to be a pretty good pitch in that location that everyone says lefties love swings through that one for strike two Next one misses, and it's one and two. And a good eye there. It's a good take. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Makes the catch. That's out number two. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. He's already homered here in this one. 
Swing and a miss. And that's strike oh, one. one. And a pitch. Oh. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. That misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes. Two down, nobody on. Here in the late stages of game two. Volpe checks his swing. Now it appealed to first. And he held up. Outside, and that is ball four. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Swing and a miss. No oh, balls, two strikes. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Left hand batter waits. Good eye in that around. spot. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. This is inside. Ball two. Go, two. Volpe, the runner at first with two gone. Hanging in there pretty good against the lefty. Next offering way upstairs. Juan Soto hitting on deck circle. Hit in the air, center field. Sizes this one up. Drops into the glove. And that is that. And we're back. New inning getting started. Here's the left fielder, Austin Slater. First pitch misses. That one hammered center field. Yes, Ops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. That's towards center. Judge has it sized up. He's got it. Runner tags at second. In there safely. So, man aboard. Next to hit, Royce Lewis. Fastball for a strike. I mean, his pitch efficiency, ability to get ahead and count, at times pitch to contact, but the defense weren't behind him. That's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Down to the last out for the Twins. A big performance on the mound, lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusted his stuff in this one, Blue. Feeling really good about what he's working with, and that really allows a guy to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. It seemed like from the first pitch of this ball game, this guy was going to get it done. A quality start, who knew? He'd throw a complete game and get the victory. But an excellent job of continuing to just throw what the catcher put down. He navigated through this ball game, a jam here, a jam there, but ultimately it was an outstanding outing. So Singy, as the numbers show, a great performance on the mound in this one. Absolutely, and that really set the tone from the beginning. A fantastic effort. And this one finishes with a final of 8-1 to one. for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.